I'm Molly Thurston with Pearl Agricultural Consulting and today I'm going to talk to you about the model for oblique banded leaf roller on the BC DAS system. So we're standing in the orchard at this time it's approximately half inch green coming up on tight cluster in Gala and this is a great time to be looking at the model for OBLR. We've come out to the orchard today to look for egg masses for leaf roller as well as to look for overwintering larvae. The overwintering larva can often be found feeding in the buds and in the early spring is a really good time to be scouting and sampling buds. You can take some bud samples and place them in a plastic bag and look for frass that will emerge from the overwintering larva. This is also a good time for growers to be preparing for your dormant oil applications. A dormant oil between the half inch green and open cluster stage of apples will be effective at knocking down some of the leaf roller. We would follow that up with sprays potentially at pink for the bud moth and a petal fall for OBLR. There's a number of spray options that are available and listed on the BC DAS system. You can also go to the BC Tree Fruit Production Guide for more information about these sprays, timings and rates. It's important to note too that OBLR as well as bud moth are two generation leaf roller insects. In addition to some of the single generation leaf rollers that we do have, fruit tree and European leaf roller, it's important to continue your monitoring into the summer when the second generation will appear in July and August. The model will indicate to you where we are in the larval development phase and when the best timing is to apply control spray for leaf roller in your orchard. But as usual with the models, it's incredibly important that you monitor and scout your own orchard and that you identify which of the leaf roller species are present in your block. Thank you for joining us for this educational video. For more information, you can refer to the BC DAS system online. Please join us again for future videos in this series.